Hi and welcome back. In this short video within my Merchant Navy How To series, I'm going to discuss how to calculate the effect of an alteration of course on your radar plot. This is essentially what the trial manoeuvre function of the ARPA does and is one of the basic questions you may be asked during your examinations. As you can see, we have two targets on our radar screen and I have already completed the plot for each. The process and an explanation of how to do this is contained in my earlier video, Manual Radar Plot, which you might want to view if you haven't already done so before continuing. From this radar plot, we can see that we are on a collision course with both targets. In this example, we're going to calculate the effect of an alteration of course on the situation. Taking target A, which is on our starboard bow, we're going to alter course. In compliance with the collision regulations, we're going to do so by altering our course 30 degrees to starboard, so we're on a new course of 130 degrees. For this calculation, we're making the assumption that any action we take is instantaneous, whereas in reality there would be a delay in commencing the alteration and settling on the new course. So that it's not too cluttered, let's remove some of the extra lines from the plot we have. Now we have decided that we're going to alter course to 130 degrees. To do this, we have to change the WO line, which is the way of own, to 130 degrees. There are different ways to do so, but the easiest is to use the plotting sheet to make a line bearing 130 and transfer it to the W point, as demonstrated on your screen now. Now we can take our compass, or our ruler, and draw an arc with the centre point on W through O until it intercepts our new course line. By convention we name this point O1. The reason we do this is that our speed has not changed, so the length of our WO line has to be the same as the existing line. When we construct a new relative approach line, by drawing a line from O1 to A, and then extending it across our plotting sheet, we can then calculate the CPA. Having extended the relative approach line, we measure the shortest distance from us and find that if we alter course to 130 degrees, our new CPA will be 3.3 nautical miles. And that's it, you could also recalculate the time to CPA if you so desired. Join me next time where I'll be showing how to calculate the effect of a change of speed. If you have any topics you would like to be covered, let me know in the comments below, or send me a tweet. If you enjoyed this video or found it useful, you could always hit the like button and feel free to subscribe to my channel so you're notified whenever I post a new video. Until next time, bye!